first look at this picture and see how it's coloured. So you can see that the hand is divided into three parts, just as the foot was divided into two parts. One part consists of the thumb and the index finger. Another part was the little finger and the ring finger. And the third part, which is different in the hand, is that the middle finger is structurally separate from those other two parts. So looking at Albert, here you can see the index finger and the thumb come down and they articulate through to this bone here, which is called the scaphoid. So the scaphoid forms the foundation of the index finger and the thumb. And this is the manipulative part of the hand, the part of the hand that can pick up things, manipulate them, pinch them, and whatever. So you have the scaphoid bone, and then underneath the index finger there's the trapezoid bone, and underneath the thumb there's the trapezium. So there's trapezoid and trapez trapezium. And these both articulate with the scaphoid. Coming to the other side of the hand, the little finger and the fourth finger articulate with this bone which is called the hamate. And then the foundation of this side of the hand is the triquetral bone. So this side of the hand is much more to do with reaching and grasping. So the third part of the hand is the middle finger and if you take your own middle finger and if you take your own hand and rotate the hand you'll find that the middle finger is the axis of rotation. So the middle finger articulates with another bone which is called the lunate bone and the lunate and the capitate bone form the section of the hand which is related to the middle finger. It's the axis of rotation and it's also the keystone of the arch. If you look at the picture of these carpal bones, these small bones in the hand, from the end on you'll see they're arranged in an arch. And you have two arches, one arch formed from the triquetral and the lunate and the scaphoid and the lunate is the keystone of that arch. The distal arch, formed from the hamate and the capitate, the trapezoid and the trapezium, and the capitate is the keystone of that arch. So a lot of times when there's problems in the wrist, it's because the keystones have become blocked. So working with the capitate and the lunate and helping them to move in the wrist is an important part of working with the hand.